Um, a developing story this morning. Listen to this. 132 prisoners have escaped from a Mexican facility. This was yesterday, but the thing is only five miles from the U.S. border with Texas. And Emily Bauckham of our affiliate WOAI is in Eagle Pass, Texas right now. She's been kind enough to join us here and, and tells us that police are looking for these guys. And Tell me about people possibly hearing or seeing what they think were the inmates escaping. Well, last night around 9 o'clock, we talked to a police officer here in Eagle Pass who told us that on the north end of the town, a woman got a knock on the door. She went and answered, and it was three men who asked her for clothes and water. So she obliged, gave them what, she, what they wanted, and they said thank you and moved on. And at that point, she realized it could be those inmates. So the police department is investigating that to see if there's a connection. We are at International Bridge, and I want to show you what has people so concerned. You cross that bridge, you are in Mexico. You drive for about 10 minutes, and you are at this jail. It's a minimum security jail. There were more than 130 people that snuck out through. They burrowed through a tunnel, from what we're told. About two-thirds of them were in there for federal charges, things like drug trafficking. We're told from Mexican authorities that many of them are believed to have gone south, but if you're here in Eagle Pass, you have to be concerned. What if they're trying to cross the border? We spoke with the Maverick County Sheriff. Uh, this is Maverick County that we're in, and he said that there were no incidents overnight that he knows of. He also said, though, when we talked to him last night when we got here, he said, this is a direct quote, we don't know nothing. He said that the last time he himself went to Mexico was 2004 because it is so violent over there. And all he knows about this incident is what he heard from the radio station broadcasting across the river. So it's certainly two different worlds at this border across the bridge. There's a manhunt going on with cash rewards. If you find some of these inmates over here, it's very tense. But so far, nothing has happened except for that one reported incident last night. Robin. So, so that reported incident last night where a woman answered the door to three men who wanted clothes and water and she went ahead and gave it to them. Did she notice what they were wearing? Do we know? Uh, she did not tell that to the police officer we spoke with. He was not at the scene. He was not a responding officer. He had just heard it from the other officers on his shift. But apparently they were pretty nice. The exchange was very polite. They said thank you when it was over. And I guess that she had no cause for concern if she gave them the food and clothes and water. That's crazy, isn't it? Um, all right. Thank you so much, Emily. Appreciate it. Good report from Eagle Pass, Texas. Right. Um, right there across the Mexican border where there has been um, a breakout at a prison there.